Welcome to Productive Joy with Dr. Christie, where fun meets action. Hi, friends. Welcome to Productive Joy. So I am having so much fun meeting new people, learning new things, and this week was no exception. I had the opportunity to talk with Lisa DeAngelis. Lisa is an author. She's also an expert on change, and I think we could all learn a little something from somebody who has studied change and figured out ways to navigate that space because change isn't comfortable, right? But it's necessary. If we don't ever change, then we certainly aren't ever going to get different results. And I don't know about you, but I've not perfected the way I want things to look and I need there to be some change in my life. So she has a pretty cool story. She ended up uh, moving to New York City from Chicago in during the pandemic, which most people were not doing that. They were going the other way. But she moved to New York City. She wrote a book and has since started helping people embrace change instead of being afraid of it. So it made me think of a couple different things. The biggest one being how often have I chosen not to do something because I was afraid? So I tend to jump in with both feet. The the description that my sweet husband will say is that I throw gasoline on the fire because it's what's closest because I have to be doing something, right? Like I'm like, oh, something is on fire. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to put that fire out in reality, making it worse. And I think that that's because I am kind of in perpetual motion. I am a go, go, go kind of person. I have not ever been afraid of change. I think I'm sometimes too quick to react, but I think I'm also often stuck in a space where I could have done it differently or better had I just taken a minute. (laughs) And so what I learned from Lisa is that it's okay to take a minute. It's okay to look at the whole picture and say, oh. I'm not sure how I would handle this or this doesn't make sense to me. And I think the biggest thing that we have to do is we have to find the space to wrestle with the problem and figure it out. So she said her book had three sections. Her book is called Embracing the Unknown, Exploring the Pathways to Change. And she said she's got why change, changing now, and changing forever. And I really like that. First of all, why change? Why is it that we can't keep doing things exactly the way we've always done them? I don't think we have to change everything, but I think there are things we do that we just do because we've always done it that way. Uh, Nothing annoys my sweet husband more than to be in a meeting and somebody say, well, we've always done it that way. (laughs) He's like, but that's not a good enough reason to do it. So why change first and foremost? And then change now. What's going on in my life right now that I need to do differently, better, shift, rethink, all the things. And then changing forever, I really like that concept. How can I approach things differently moving forward based on what I've learned about this change right here? This podcast um, was designed to help leaders figure out how to do it differently. I can't think of a better group to hear that change starts internally. We have to want to change ourselves. We have to decide that we can do things differently. We have to come up with a new way of work. And then we have to execute on it. What does that look like? What does that feel like? How might I do things differently moving forward? A lot of power in there right? Like, so I I don't know what your role is. I know that I have people who listen to this who have recently shifted into a CEO position I, unexpectedly and excitedly. I have friends who listen to this who are raising multiple children and homeschooling them and trying to figure out how to make sure that, that they meet the needs of all of the kids. I have friends who are tackling things that they've never done before and they just want a little shot of B12. I don't know which listener you are, but here's what I do know. I do know that we all need to change. Um, Sometimes it's easier than others, but we all need a guide for how to make that happen. And although I don't pretend to have all the answers, I do help people figure out, one, what their target is. What are they trying to reach? What's the thing that they need? What change is necessary to get there? And then I help them take aim right? So that analyze piece is really looking at it and going, okay, this is working really well. Leave it alone. This is not working so well. What do we need to shift? How do we need to really think about this differently? And then to improve means to look at it and say, this is working. Let's do more of this. 
and less of that because that is not working. <laughs> I also, when I talk about improve, figure out how to make environments safe, logical, fun, and memorable. That's important. And then last, but certainly not least, we you have to move. You have to do it differently. You cannot keep doing it exactly the way you've always done it and expect different results. That is the literal example and definition of insanity. We don't want to be insane. We want to do things well and we want to get better results than we've gotten before. So today on Productive Joy, my hope is that you recognize that change doesn't have to be scary. Change is the friend we didn't know we needed, according to Lisa, and I think that there's power in those words. Change is important. It's necessary. It's probably one of the most constant things we'll ever deal with, and we don't have to be afraid of it. So don't be afraid of change. Just embrace it and recognize that change is what allows us to get different results. And those different results can be pretty fantastic. So if you're not already following this podcast, do me a favor, just hit follow or share it with somebody and say, hey, this is the thing that I think you should listen to because we're having a lot of fun over here. And if nobody hears it, then I'm the only one having fun, which I will continue to do because I do kind of love it, period. But I'd really like to bring my friends along with me. So share this. And if you want to reach out and, and learn more about how I can assist you in this navigation of life, please let me know. You can reach me at Christy at aimwithus.com. Christy is spelled C-H-R-I-S-T-I-E. And just let me know. Let me know what you need because I won't know unless you ask. So today and every time we wrap one of these bad boys up, my goal for you is that you figure out a way to turn fun into action.